Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. In this tutorial, we'll see what are ref cursors. So in my previous tutorial, we've already discussed what are the normal cursors and uh, what is a dynamic SQL, then how it works and all. So here, let us move on to another type of cursor called ref cursors. So what is ref cursor is? The expansion for ref cursor is it is a referential sorry or else you can say reference cursor so ref cursor are nothing but reference cursor then what is the second point about ref cursors are they work or is, um, they work on this uh, concept called dynamic SQL we have already discussed regarding this dynamic SQL in my previous tutorial if you guys haven't watched it then I recommend you to go and watch it so that you will have a clear um, view regarding the uh, once you know what is dynamic SQL you will be able to understand like how this rough cursors will work uh, by using this dynamic SQL concept so this is the thing about the second point about rough cursor then the third point is why we use ref cursors see uh, when we are using normal cursors what exactly happens is we will be uh, you know uh, for each cursor will be creating a variable and that variable will be able to hold only one particular set of result right so when but but what exactly happens in ref cursor is they are used to store different result set at different point of time so that's a main advantage of this ref cursor that is it can uh, it can store different result set at different point of time okay so this is the main advantage of um, ref cursor and as well um, this ref cursor are user defined data type which are helpful to return multiple records from a stored procedure or a function so that is the fourth point for this ref cursor so let me repeat it again uh, the ref cursor is nothing but user defined data type so that by using this data type whenever you create a ref cursor right so using that uh, reference cursor you can create multiple number of um, variable or a single variable by using that single variable you can uh, retrieve different result set from your database so that's the fourth point over here so ref cursors are the user defined data type which are very much helpful to return turn multiple records um, from from your um, stored procedure or function okay so these are the things that you need to remember whenever you are talking about ref cursors so first of all the first thing is that uh, ref cursors are nothing but it's called as a reference cursor then this ref cursors makes use of um, the dynamic sql concept uh, in order to make you know in order to make this ref cursor work and as well it is main advantage of the ref cursor is it can store different results at a different point of time using that the same variable and as well this ref cursor acts like a data type where you can create um, a variable by using which you can retrieve data or the records from the stored procedure or functions so these are the things that you need to remember about ref cursor so let me uh, quickly you know uh, make you walk through a small program so that you will be able to have a clear picture of what exactly ref cursor is so, he so here I have already written a program so you can see I have um, as usual uh, our uh, PLSQL block will be having declare be begin and end uh, sections so you can see here I am creating a, a type called as ref cursor you can see type this is a variable name test1 is a ref cursor so this test1 is nothing but is a ref cursor so whenever you are creating a ref cursor kind of data type then you need to mention this kind of command over here then 
in the next line you can see that I'm creating a variable of type test1 so test1 is nothing but it is like a data type uh, for example I can say in a very simple word how you write structures in C language so you will be creating a data type and you will then you will be creating a variable of that particular structure right same way here you're first creating a data type called test1 okay so by making use of this test one you are creating number of variables so here I've created one variable called var that is of type type one of uh, type test one okay so then I'm creating another variable so this is going to hold um, it's nothing but is a record type which is going to hold the data type just like our employee table okay another one um, record that's going to contain uh, uh, the department type record so what I'm doing is in the begin section I'm opening this variable for a query called select star from EMP okay then I'm looping it what I'm doing is I'm trying to fetch this var into this VREC we know what is VREC VREC is nothing but is of employee type you can see it here so exit when var percentage not found once when the records are completed there's no more records then that time you need to exit it then I'm trying to you know display those variables that, that is what exactly I'm trying to display on the screen is vrec dot ename I'm just ename from the employee table I'm trying to display so you can see here the main advantage is I'm making use of only one variable over here so what exactly happens is if I you know come in this let me just comment it here and run the program and show you how it works let me just you can see it here you can see uh, only the employee names has been dis displayed the uh, whatever employee names are available in that uh, table or everything has been displayed now what I'm trying to do is why I commented this is you can see in the second section you can see that I have created the same kind of uh, you know I have cr I've made use of the same variable and I've opened uh, the variable for another query you can see here I've opened the query here for select star from EMP whereas here I'm trying to open the same variable for department table you can see the variable is trying to hold the values of values that is from different places different data different tables right so that is the main advantage of this ref cursor if you are trying to use make use of a normal cursor then what will happen you need to make use of one cur one variable which of which is of um, uh, one table another variable which is of the another table but here I'm trying I'm creating a ref cursor and then for the same I'm creating a variable and I'm making use of the same variable for different tables hope you guys are understanding so now if I uncomment this and let me just um, to give you a clear picture and just let this be let this save it and I'll run it so you can see the first set is nothing but which is trying to get it from the employee table you can see all the e names has been displayed in the second section you can see that it is displaying all the um, department names so you can see I'm making use of the same variable and uh, trying to fetch values from different tables so this is the main advantage of the ref cursor so this word is about the basic of ref cursor there are different types of ref cursors like strong ref cursor and weak ref cursor which we will discuss in our next tutorial hope you guys have understood this uh, concept of ref cursor the basic concept of ref cursor so please practice this and if there are any queries then let me know and I'm really sorry if I'm uh, if any of you have you know mailed me and you haven't got response from me uh, as I'm you know I'll try to uh, reply you as soon as possible just keep patience and uh, thank you very much for watching and keep supporting my videos and like my videos and share it with your other friends as well thank you very much for watching